Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Cup of Dust. And tonight I'm joined by the one, the only, it's Alpha! My comedy comes in playing it straight. There's not a straight bone in your body. I'm the straightest bisexual man <laughs> you'll ever meet. I'm the straightest passing by man you'll ever meet. Straightest passing by man, got it. What is passing by? Can you explain to us the details of what it means to be passing by man? You meet the person, you're just like, wow, that person's totally straight. And then they start oh, making out with a dude. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, you know what? I don't think he's straight. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is there's a chance. Yeah, there's always a chance, man. I'm perpetually single because I'm afraid of commitment. Oh, dude, no. It is always very tricky to set up scheduling with VTubers. I know yeah, our schedules are imaginary. The schedules are there, but it's more of a suggestion. Time is an illusion. Time is a weird soup. Mine is a minestrone. I do like that. How is Kappa Mikey Marathon? What is this? Okay, do you know what Kappa Mikey is? I am familiar with Kappa Mikey. I figured that since I live in Tokyo, technically I'm an American as well. <laughs> the show is about an American living in Tokyo who is like blasted constantly with all these like strange Japanese customs and anime and assaulted pretty much sensory overload. That's kind of how I feel sometimes. Because growing up in Tokyo, especially in current times that we live in, and somebody who's grown up on things that aren't anime, things that aren't manga, things that aren't like weird. Them. What do you mean you didn't grow up on anime? I, I've watched, you know, a few. Well, I, now I've finished Naruto. I've finished a lot oh. of like major anime and things like that. But growing up, I never like tried to catch it on television. It wasn't appointment television for me. That's what most of my character is, is this guy who is an American, all American bro living in Tokyo who has been blasted from all sides with Japanese culture. Oh, I thought you were going to say four big dudes, but okay. It's made him who he is today. He's your idiot big brother. I'm going to find the forest porn for you. Oh! What? I can't believe you've been doing this for over a year and you have not talked about forest porn. Wait, what do you mean by forest? What does that mean? If you live in the Midwest, you've had cousins who are older than you. You've had brothers who are older than you. There is a rite of passage. You become of age and you go out paintballing. You go out on your four wheeler or your ATVs into the woods. That's where you play around. You fuck around in the woods. That's where you break your bones. That's where okay. you go and you know you have hospital visits. Rowdy rough dudes. Just a yowie things. rough dudes. Rowdy rough dudes doing guy things. So you go out in the forest and you're like, I don't want to say particular age, but you become of age and your brother brings you with his friends and you go into the forest and you find way deep in places you haven't been before a tarp. There's hardly any way to access high speed streaming, high definition pornography anywhere. Your brother lifts the tarp up and there's some Playboys from 1984 in there. Some of the first times you've seen a booby. I'm hearing the words that you're saying. I've never once heard about this story in the history of my life. Never. Oh. You know what? It's getting a little hot in here. Let me go ahead and undo my shirt real quick. Oh, dude, this whiskey you gave me smells really good. I gave you whiskey? When did I do that? You gave me coffee and then whiskey. Wow, I must have it's sticky good. fingers. It smells like caramel. I don't know where you got it, but it's magic. Wait, did you say magic? Yeah, magic. Okay, Um. so don't be surprised if you wake up in the morning and don't remember hey. tonight. At all. What does that mean? We're just not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna keep on trucking. You're gonna keep on enjoying that drink, right, Bucko? Yeah, it's pretty good. That's what I like to hear. It smells like caramel. I love it. It's I have, in fact, partaken in a few of your streams. In fact, I have been a part of, I think, at least one stream. Yeah, you were there playing Overwatch with yep. us until we uh, detonated on each other. Wait, who detonated? Did I detonate on you or did you detonate on me? You kept your cool like a fucking cucumber, bro. Oh. <laughs> me, and, me and my buddy Jay rage too hard at Overwatch. Any game that kills you instantly and you're just like, oh shit, I made a mistake. I hate that shit. But you have 10 second death timer in Overwatch and it's like, get back out there, you salty bitch. You're not done. Listen, I had fun playing with you regardless. It's the saddest part of Overwatch is you get in there and you hate it and then you get out and you're just like, you know what? I could use for another one. You know that picture of the uh, the otter eating watermelon and it's like, this otter is eating watermelon even though he hates it. That's all Overwatch players all the time. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm just vibing, I'm thriving, I'm surviving. Listen, I'm just a bunny. I didn't even know that today was my one year anniversary for the cafe. Yeah, isn't that cool? I'm honored, man. Thank you for having me. Hold on, wait, I have a, I have a hat. Oh, I think I know the hat you're talking about. I want to see it. <laughs> I've seen this one. This is one of my favorite hats. Oh my God. What's a dilf? A dad I'd like to f well, I know what a dilf is, but like, is Joel a dilf? No, Joel's not a dilf. Okay. Joel is, um, he's like the peak version of masculinity. He has so much testosterone that his pecs are massive and they jiggle. Yes. That's Joel. Porcelain made. Yeah. Oh, I was talking about Joel Miller from The Last of Us. Oh, <laughs> uh, I was talking about Joel, like Joel. Not Joel. Yeah, Joel. Dude, X Femboy Bussy <sighs> X is here live <laughs> on Twitch.tv. And their first time message was just wanted to say you boys are looking handsome and cute tonight. So you're the handsome one. I'm the cute one. You bet your sweet ass I'm cute. You got, what, no, other way around. I mean, I handsome, be, handsome, handsome. I want to be cute. Sorry. You're goddamn right we are. That's me cocking my cock. <laughs> 
That's me cocking. <laughs> Whoa! Holy Perfect. shit, was that a vine boom? Fuck yeah. Apparently. And then followed by a shark for 300 bits. Thank you for the shark. Let's I go. All the same. You, you know what? I have thought about checking my butthole. Now, I do see we finally got our first redeem this of the night, and I did warn you beforehand. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Would you like to do an era arrow with me? Sure, sure. You go so, first. So, we do era arrows a little bit differently here. Okay, so first things first, we're going to uh, widen Damn our stance. Boy. Okay. Then we're going to power stance. Okay. And you yell power stance. Power stance. And then you give it the old. Uh, da, da. Uh, da, da. Okay. I see what you were going. I think I did it right. I think you did it right. Thank you again, Alpha, for coming. I really do appreciate you. Of course. It's been a blast sitting down with you. Shooting the shit more so than the previous conversations we, that we, we had. We need to do this again sometime. Yeah, definitely. It could be a joint effort. I'll think it through. We got to come up with a good thing. You could join me for something really stupid I could plan. Sure, I'm down for stupid shit. Let me know when you're free. We'll plan it. Guys, thank you again. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you again for being here, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody!